Right, the final race of week eight in the National Hunt race card is the Burnt Fingers Hunt to Chase. For, uh, from There's Mr. Wiseman's Two Grey, Dan Fryer, Fred Lott, and Alexander Meggs for the three starters. Two Grey versus Alex Cherry. And uh, they're off with Alexander Meggs, the early leader, from Glen Fryer, Fred Lott. Alex Cherry is also in second, and then Mr. Wiseman. Only about a uh, little and a half of separate on the field, less than that now, as Alexander Meggs steadies in front from his stable mate, Mr. Wiseman, who's moved up on the outside of Glen Fryer, Fred Lott. Still a long way to go. Only three circuits of this track. Uh, quite a short track, but just a mile circumference. Uh, Alexander Meggs leads some stable companion, Mr. Wiseman, with Glen Far Fred Lott back in third, about two lengths off the leader. So, Mr. Wiseman, better jump for Mr. Wiseman. Um, draws him almost level with Alexander Meggs. And Glen Far Fred Lott looks on from the rear in this three horse event. The last hunt chase of week eight as two, two grey horses lead the Alex Cherry horse. So Alexander Minx in front, the latter of the brown horses. And Alexander Minx is gone. Alexander Minx has gone at that fence, gone at the third. There's a, there's a match race between Stu Gray and Alex Cherry, and it's Mr. Wiseman who leads the Lenfire Fredlot with the loose horse in between them as they come to the next fence. A good jump by the leader, Mr. Wiseman. Um, slightly slow, again, fly Fred Lot. Uh, it's about three lengths adrift now, but it's still a long way to go, so there's no. Area. It's quite close up as well. They come to the next fence. Mr. Wiseman jumps in Fred from then fly Fred Lot in second. That's the RNC is an orange cap of Felix Cherry's Glen Fry Fred Lot. As to race, Mr. Wiseman precedes the uh, loose horse who just passes him on the inside. Come to the next fence, Mr. Wiseman. Only one length clear of Glen Fry Fred Lot. Keeping tabs on the leader. Two horses in this hunter chase. As they come to the next fence. And Mr. Wiseman jumps it way better than Glen Fry Fred Lot. It was slightly slow at that start, but there's a long way to go still. Only three lengths adrift. And there's quite a few circuits of the track to, to go still. And the next fence has jumped well, so they've gone over the 8th with Mr. Wiseman and Glen Farfred Lot jumping well enough. Alexander Minks obviously went to the 3rd, so a bit of match race for a while. Let's swing around the bend. Mr. Wiseman leading Glen Farfred Lot, the loose horse up the inside, not causing any issues at this stage. And Mr. Wiseman comfortably in the lead, jumps it well from Glen Farfred Lot to. Lodge, was okay back in second. About three lengths off the leader. That's two greys, Mr. Wiseman in those black colours with a green sash. Leads Glen Farfred Lot in the orange cap, orange leaves and the white cross. Blue colours of Alex Cherry. Closing up now. They come to jump the next and it's Mr. Wiseman only a length clear now of Glen Farfred Lot who comes up on his inside. As they can pass the winning post with a two circuits to travel. Mr. Wiseman. Just the lead enough from Glen Fry Fred Lot. There's about uh, not even half a length in it, and in fact Glen Fry Fred Lot has jumped to the front. So Glen Fry Fred Lot goes to the front from Mr. Wiseman. With a long way to go still. Uh, they uh, reach halfway and Glen Fry Fred Lot at the halfway mark is now half a length up on Mr. Wiseman who comes back up on his outside and uh, Lucy had pushed loose horse which is, was Alexander Mix precedes them so Glen for a Fred Lot now length clear of Mr. Wiseman as they come to the next fence although Mr. Wiseman jumps it well enough to draw level again and Mr. Wiseman goes back to the lead from Glen for a Fred Lot on his inside not much in it they come to the 15th fence and they both jump it okay in the air together, land together and Mr. Wiseman just the leader from Glenfire Fred Lot and they pass the four foot on pole Glenfire Fred Lot slightly better over that than Mr. Wiseman the race is about to begin in earnest and they've got almost a circuit to go and they start to swing for 
you have a stretch for the penultimate time with Glenn Fire, Fred, Lord of Alex Cherry leading Stu Grace and Mr. Wiseman. Come to the next fence and start to slow in the air, Glenn Fire, Fred, Lord allows Mr. Wiseman to actually pass him in the air. So Mr. Wiseman back in the front from Glenn Fire, Fred, Lord in second. Anybody's race though. He's about to circuit to go. With Stu Grace, Mr. Wiseman leading Glenn Fire, Fred, Lord. Police horse is well clear, so it probably won't cause any issues. They jump the next, and then from Fred Lot is back in the front from Mr. Wiseman in second. They pass the winning post for the penultimate time, headed for their final circuit. And Mr. Wiseman and Glenn from Fred Lot duty for the lead. Comes to the next, there's less than a mile to go, and then from Fred Lot, you have to say, is traveling slightly the better than Mr. Wiseman, although there's nothing really in it, less than a length. Glenn Fire Fred Lot leads for Mr. Wiseman in second. Down to the next. Oh, slow jump by Glenn Fire Fred Lot, but Mr. Wiseman was even slower, reached for that and barely got to the other side and lost a length in the air on Glenn Fire Fred Lot. And now he's two lengths clear of Mr. Wiseman. So Glenn Fire Fred Lot. Two lengths clear, is trying to stretch from the front. You have Mr. Wiseman back in second. They jump the next, both okay over that. And Glenn Fire Fred Lot now trying to overtake the loose horse. Mr. Wiseman back in second. They got almost four ferns left to travel, and it's Glenn Fire Fred Lot about two lengths clear of Mr. Wiseman in second. They jump the next, and Mr. Wiseman was better over that fence. And it's close to within the length of Glenn Fire Fred Lot, but Glenn Fire Fred Lot. He's starting to try to stretch from the front again. Mr. Wiseman is running in second and starting to close the gap as they come to the next fence. Glenn Fire Fred Lot jumps as well for Mr. Wiseman in second. Glenn Fire Fred Lot, Mr. Wiseman now three lengths adrift as Glenn Fire Fred Lot stretched sail for home and Glenn Fire Fred Lot now is kicking on. Glenn Fire Fred Lot's gone four five lengths clear. Mr. Wiseman was up slightly outpaced, is trying to rally. But Glenn Fire Fred Lot's got a useful advantage. There's only a fence left to jump. Glenn Fire Fred Lot jumps as well. Mr. Wiseman's also won over as well, but he's got a lot of ground to find now. With two phones left to travel, it's Glenn Fire Fred Lot from Mr. Wiseman. Glenn Fire Fred Lot from Mr. Wiseman's about four or five lengths in it. You got one fence lengths to jump. It's Glenn Fire Fred Lot and Mr. Wiseman. And Glenn Fire Fred Lot. He's going to win this. There's no more fences to go, actually. Oh, here he is. The last fence. There's a very short running. Glenn Fire Fred Lot over at safety. He's going to win very comfortably here from Mr. Wiseman in second. Glenn Fire Fred Lot wins for Alex Cherry. Mr. Wiseman in second for Stu Gray and the other horse. Alexander Mix was the faller.